Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to call the meeting of the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners to order. Commissioner Coggin will lead us in prayer, and then Commissioner Bullen will lead us in the pledge. Will, um, let's just pause for a moment and remember the people and the government and the families and friends of um, the Haiti, uh, the Haiti people, and just just remember them. And maybe you know people, uh, or and just just remember them and what they're going through right now. Our most gracious and heavenly Father, we humbly approach your throne this evening, God, thanking you for this day that you've given us to live for you. Father, we pray today that you help us to do good. You help us to be honest and ethical in all of our dealings. You help us to serve others. And Father God, help us to faithfully fulfill our obligations as neighbors and leaders to our community, our nation, and the world. Father God, bless the Haiti people, and may they feel your presence and your spirit around them. It's in your son's name that we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Commissioner Schaefer? Yes. Commissioner Black? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Commissioner Jernigan? Yes. Commissioner Farley? Here. Commissioner Williams? Here. Commissioner Sandlin? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Commissioner Sparks? Yes. Commissioner Hall? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Commissioner Rogers? Yes. Commissioner Coggin? Commissioner Bullen, yes. Commissioner Phillips, yes. Commissioner McAdoo, yes. Commissioner Ely, yes. Commissioner Gooch, yes. Commissioner Daniel. Yes. 20 present. Thank you, uh, you have before you a copy of the minutes of the last meeting. Commissioner Farley. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion we approve the minutes as mailed. All right, do we have a second? Commissioner Gooch, did anyone have any corrections or additions? There being none. All of you in favor of that, please say aye. aye. Any opposed? Thank you very much. Okay, now we have a time for public comments. We have two people that wish to speak tonight. And when you come forward, please give us your name and address. And uh, we remind you that we have three minutes set aside for this. So our first speaker is Ms. Ronnie Shaw. Hi, good evening, and thank you for your time. I'm Ronnie Shaw, 1734 Somerset Drive in Murfreesboro, 37129. Um, I also happen to be the executive director of Read to Succeed. We are the local literacy initiative that promotes literacy in Rutherford County. We do that by large public events to celebrate the written word, like Reading the Schools Day, the Reading Rally, Unplug and Read. We also have age-specific programs like our sixth grade spelling bee, our high school arts conference, family literacy programs, and of course our adult literacy program where we provide tutoring to adult learners. Um, I want to take just a second to thank the folks here for um, always supporting us. The mayor comes out whenever we ask him to, which I appreciate. Um, Jeff Jordan, Commissioner Jordan sits on our executive board and um, John Rogers did a great job at the Celebrity Spelling Bee this year. So look out, you might be for next year. I'm here to spend just a minute telling you about this year's uh, one book community read. Each year we pick a new title and all we do is ask folks in the community to read it. That's all they have to do is, is crack a book. We're hoping to um, uh, motivate some discussion about literature um, when folks are at the water cooler um, after you've talked about the balls and whatever else is happening in, in sports. Take a minute, talk about the book. Um, 
Each year, I go to all the city councils in Rutherford County, the city and county school boards, and right here to the county commission, and I offer up a copy of the book in the hope that folks in the community will see that our leaders, um, that's you guys, um, are a part of this initiative and that you support reading and that you hope the folks in the community will read. So um, this year's book is The Soloist. It's by Steve Lopez. Um, it's not a difficult or a long read, but it's fascinating. It's about a man who lives on the streets in Los Angeles, and uh, he and an LA Times columnist make friends. Um, turns out he's a Juilliard-trained musician. So um, you learn a lot about homelessness, which of course we have a, a steady problem here in Rutherford County with that. You learn a lot about classical music um, and maybe gain some appreciation. I know I did that I didn't have. Um, and you really get uh, an inside look at uh, these, these two fellows who, who have this friendship. So I'm hoping that one of you on the commission will offer to take this very copy of this book and uh, start off reading it and then pass it to one of your mates. Do I have any takers? Oh, he was quick over here. That's Commissioner P, thank you very Commissioner much. Commissioner P, thank you very much. Commissioner Gordon will be in charge, uh, Jordan will be in charge of making sure the book gets passed along and that everybody gets a chance to read it. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. A very, very worthwhile program of encouraging literacy, and especially for among our adults in our county. All right. Next, we have Mr. Donald Todd. My name is Donald Todd and I live at 633 Buck Lane. Constitutional action by Tennessee is needed. Stand up and say no to socialization. We citizens in Rutherford County, Tennessee, along with like-minded citizens in every county in Tennessee demand that our state representatives and state senators take immediate action and adopt corrective legislation to support the U.S. Constitution and repeal those state laws which ignore constitutional principles. And because the federal government is brazenly violating the U.S. Constitution by forcing the state of Tennessee to submit to a federal health care bill that would bankrupt our state, our state legislature must use its power guaranteed to each state by the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution to nullify federal acts which are unconstitutional, including the currently proposed Federal Health Care Act of 2009-2010. The most obvious proof of the federal government's violation of the Constitution is the outrageous use of financial bribery on the part of the federal administration to win the votes of a few elected members of Congress, thereby forcing the recent adoption of the federal health care plan. Several states, including Nebraska, Florida, Louisiana, Vermont and Massachusetts were involved in this shameful financial arm twisting scheme. Many years ago, two precedents were established when three states used the principle of nullification to nullify unconstitutional laws passed by Congress. One precedent was set during the presidency of George Washington when the state of Massachusetts nullified a federal act entitled Fugitive Slave Act. Another precedent was established in 1798 when the states of Kentucky and Virginia nullified another federal act entitled the Alien and Sedition Act. These actions on the part of both states in 1798 were taken because the federal act, Alien and Sedition Act, extended the powers of the federal government. The resolutions which brought about these nullifications argued that the Constitution was a compact among the states. Therefore, the federal government had no right to exercise powers not specifically delegated to it, the federal government, and that if the federal government assumed such powers, acts under them would be void. So, states can decide the constitutionality of laws passed by Congress. So, the validity of the Tenth Amendment gives us conviction today that Tennessee's sovereignty, as well as all other states' sovereignty, can be utilized for nullification of unconstitutional federal acts. 
including the currently proposed Federal Health Care Act of 2009-2010. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Todd. Okay, next we're going to have a resolution of sympathy on a very special person, Mr. Willie Brandon. We're going to call first on Commissioner McAdoo, and then uh, he will then call on, uh, I believe, Commissioner Bullins. Commissioner McAdoo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I would just like to stand up and thank uh, the mayor and the employees of Relaford County, the sheriff department, and the honor guard for the beautiful ceremony that we had here at the courthouse for the lion state of Mr. Willie Brandon. As I stand before you, I would ask my colleague, Dr. Bullen, to read the resolution because each commissioner know that for his birthday, for Christmas, and throughout the year, this commissioner always thought about Mr. Brandon. Uh, by the way, uh, two weeks prior to his passing, Dr. Bullen was over there to visit him during the Christmas holidays. So at this time, I would ask Commissioner Bob Bullen to read the resolution. Thank you, Commissioner McAdoo, for allowing me to share in this moment. Much has been said about Mr. Brandon, and uh, I will not take much of your time to repeat all of those things, but a resolution rarely captures the essence of a person. It's hard to put on one page what one person was. Mr. Brandon held what we would call ordinary or regular jobs all through his life. But the important thing to remember about Mr. Brandon was that he was born and raised and was a product of racial segregation when it was at its very worst in this country. So he never had the opportunities for a fine professional job or for a job that we would call prestigious in, in, in the eyes of the public today. Mr. Brandon brought dignity to work. He, he, he showed that any type of work could have dignity. He showed that no matter what type of work you had, that you had to do, that you could take pride in your work, that you could do it the very best of your ability, and that you could be a role model for other people in meeting your responsibilities. And with that in mind, I'll read this resolution of sympathy. Whereas it was with great sadness that the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners learned of the death of Willie Brandon, a friend of many, and whereas Mr. Brandon was married to Addie Bell Brandon, had one daughter, Annie Kirby Smith, grandchildren, Regina Stewart, Patricia Morris, Pamela Smith, Maddie Call, and Donald McKnight, and a host of great grandchildren, and whereas he was a member of the Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church, and whereas Mr. Brandon was born on June 12, 1906, in Reedyville, Tennessee, making him 103 years old when he passed away, and whereas the grand son of a slave, and with only a sixth grade education, Mr. Brandon worked in the past at, at a laundry, as a dishwasher at the James K. Polk Hotel, as a cook at the City Cafe, Smyrna Air Force Base, Lamb's Grill, and Po Folks Restaurant. Before coming to work as a custodian at the Rutherford County Courthouse in 1979 at the age of 72, and whereas Mr. Brandon was the epitome of the American work ethic, always arriving at work early with a pleasant attitude, going above and beyond the call of duty to be sure that the historic courthouse was clean and locked up at night, and a willingness to do whatever it took to get the job done. Whereas Mr. Brandon rose to national fame when he spoke before the state legislature, was on national television and radio, and was recognized by the federal government as an outstanding citizen and invited to Washington, D.C but was unable to attend due to frail health. Whereas Mr. Brandon had a number of employees and residents who were proud to call him their friend, and he was most certain, and he will most certainly be missed at the Rutherford County Courthouse. And whereas we know that his passing has caused great sadness to his family and friends, and his kind heart and contagious smile will be missed by all who knew him. Now therefore be it resolved that the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners at its regular session on this 
14th day of January 2010, does hereby extend sincere sympathy to the family of Mr. Willie Brandon. Be it, there, be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution of sympathy be forwarded to the family of Mr. Brandon by the clerk of this legislative body. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Seconded by Commissioner McAdoo. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you very, very much, Commissioner McAdoo and Commissioner Bullen. Uh, Well-deserved tribute that we all really, really respect Mr. Willie Brandon. We'll miss him, but we are going to carry with him those great memories that he's left with all of us. Okay, Commissioner Coggin will come forward and he will uh, take care of elections and confirmations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First on under elections confirmations is we need to elect our notaries. You've received a list of applicants. Mr. Chairman, I move for their approval. Second, Mr. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, thank you. And secondly, we need to fill two vacancies on the PBA. Uh, the steering committee would like to recommend Mr. Dow Smith for reappointment and Mr. Les Smith uh, for appointment. Mr. Chairman, and I move for their approval. Second by Commissioner Farley. Okay, all those in favor of that, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Commissioner Coggin. Okay, there is no un unfinished business, and there are no public hearings scheduled tonight, so we're ready for the reports by our standing committees, and the purchasing committee actually has no report as well. So now, Commissioner Ely, we're ready for the Budget Finance and Investment Committee. Item K2A, General Fund Budget Amendments. Be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that the General Fund be amended as follows from Chancery Court, from Reserve for Automation, Chancery Court $7,453, from Undesignated Fund Balance $4,547, to Data Processing Equipment $12,000. This is to upgrade computers and printers. Uh, from the jail, increased revenue, law enforcement grants, $46,721. Increased expenditures, data processing equipment, $46,721. And this amendment um, recognizes revenue uh, for a 2009 JAG grant from the city of Murfreesboro. This will be used uh, for uh, video arraignment in Judge Bragg's court. Resolved this 14th day of January 2010. I move for approval, Mr. Chairman. Second, Commissioner Jernigan. Is there any discussion? Okay, please cast your votes. Anyone that did not vote and wishes to vote, anyone that would like to change your vote, you may do so now. Record the votes. 19 yes, one abstain, motion passes. Item K2B, an ambulance service fund budget amendment, and you will notice this item does not require county commission approval as it was a transfer within the ambulance service fund budget. So we will move to item K2C, a solid waste sanitation fund budget amendment. Be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that the solid waste sanitation fund be amended as follows. Convenience centers from undesignated fund balance $5,400 to rental, $5,400. Uh, this amendment is to provide funding uh, for rental to peach tree management for the Las Casas Convenience Center. This is one half of a rental bill for the year uh, 08, 09, which was inadvertently not paid. So resolved this 14th day of January 2010. I move for approval. Second, Commissioner P. Does anyone have any questions or discussion? Okay, please cast your votes. Anyone that did not vote and wishes to vote, anyone that would like to change your vote, you may do so now. Record the votes. 20 yes, motion passes. Item K2D, Education Capital Projects Fund Budget Amendment. Be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that the Education Capital Projects Fund be amended as follows education capital projects from undesignated fund balance, 
$427,144, to engineering services, $1,604, maintenance and repair of buildings, $345,429, furniture and fixtures, $27,590, regular instruction equipment, $52,521. This amendment reflects three projects that were included in the 0809 budget for this fund 177, which is major capital projects, but had not been completed as of June 2009. But I understand uh, from Mr. Sandvik and also from our finance director, uh, all three of these projects have essentially been uh, completed. That is John Coleman renovation, Smyrna High Roof, and Christiana Elementary Roof. Resolved this 14th day of January 2010. Mr. Chairman, I move for approval. And a second from Mrs. Commissioner Cook. All right, is there any discussion or questions here? Okay, please cast your votes. Anyone that did not vote and wishes to vote, anyone that would like to change your vote, you may do so now. Record the votes. 20 yes, motion passes. Item K2E, a resolution amending on-the-job injury plan document, whereas at the regular meeting on September 11, 2008, the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners adopted a resolution to implement an on-the-job injury program effective January 1, 2009. And whereas after administering the OJI program for one year, the plan document has been reviewed and revisions to the plan document have been proposed based on experience and case law in order to clarify and or simplify the uniform procedures for the reporting, treatment, and compensation of qualified individuals who are injured while performing their duties. Therefore, be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that the county mayor and other appropriate officials of Rutherford County, Tennessee, be and are hereby authorized to execute the revised Rutherford County Government and Board of Education on the Job Injury Program Plan document, a copy of the same being attached hereto as Exhibit 1 and incorporated herein by reference, as if set forth herein at length verbatim, effective January 1, 2010. Now, each commissioner has received a copy of uh, this uh, document in, your, in our mailboxes. Resolved this 14th day of January 2010. I move for approval, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Schaefer. Any discussion or questions? Please cast your votes. Anyone that did not vote and wishes to vote, anyone that would like to change your vote, you may do so now. Record the votes. 20 yes, motion passes. Item K2F, a resolution authorizing a contract in lieu of performance bond for landfill. This is the annual inflation adjustment of the financial assurance uh, for our Rutherford County landfill. Whereas Rutherford County and the State of Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation entered into a contract in lieu of performance bond for proper operation and closure and or post closure of the Rutherford County Sanitary Landfill, registration number SNL 750103. And whereas said contract in included a provision allowing the Commissioner of Environment and Conservation to collect up to $3,754,841 from any funds being dispersed or to be dispersed from the state to the County of Rutherford as financial assurance for said proper operation, closure, and post-closure. And whereas the state and the County of Rutherford desire to change the amount of said financial assurance from $3,754,841 to $3,618,951. Paragraph three of the, the agreement in lieu of performance bond is amended as follows. The figure $3,754,841 is deleted and the figure $3,618,951 is substituted in lieu thereof. Resolved this 14th day of January 2010. I move for approval. Second, Commissioner Black. Any discussion? 
Uh, please cast your votes. Anyone that did not vote and wishes to vote, anyone that would like to change your vote, you may do so now. Record the votes. 20 yes, motion passes. Thank you. We have no report from the Health and Education Committee or no report from the Property Management Committee. Now we have one item from the Public Safety Committee, Commissioner Farley. Commissioners, we've got a resolution to authorize the acceptance of lease with the State Forestry Division on Tiger Hill and execute the same for the mayor and any required county officials to sign. Um, whereas Rutherford County and the State Forestry Division intend to enter into a lease agreement for a tire site on Tiger Hill. And whereas it is in the best interest of the citizens of Rutherford County for the county to ex execute said lease agreement with the State Forestry Division. Now therefore be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that the county mayor and other appropriate officials be and they are hereby authorized to enter into ex and execute for and on behalf of Rutherford County, Tennessee, the lease agreement with the State Department of Forestry Division for a tire site on Tiger Hill with the said lease agreement is received from the State Forestry Division. Resolved this 14th day of January 2010 and I so move. Second by Commissioner Johnson. Any discussion? All right, there's no money in here, but let's please cast your votes anyway. Anyone that did not vote and wishes to vote, anyone that would like to change your vote, you may do so now. <clears throat> Record the votes. 20 yes, motion passes. Thank you. Now Commissioner Jernigan, Public Works and Planning. Public Works and Planning has got three resolutions. The first one will be Electronic Waste Disposal Agreement with PC Disposal Company. The second one will be Approved 30 mile per hour speed limit on Gun Pucket Road. And the third will be Approved Drainage Easement for West Park Estates. Where is attached is an <clears throat> Electronic Waste Disposal Agreement between Rutherford County, Tennessee and PC Disposal Company Industry. Providing for the disposal of electronic waste, a company of the same being attached here to is Exhibit 1 incorporated herein by reference as if set forth herein at length verbatim. <clears throat> Where it is, it is in the best interest of the citizens of Rutherford County for the county to enter into said electronics waste disposal agreement. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that the county mayor and other appropriate officials be and they hereby are authorized to enter into and execute for and on behalf of Rutherford County, Tennessee, the attached electronic waste disposal agreement with PC Disposal Company Industry. Resolved this 14th day of January 2010, I so move. I have a second was uh, Commissioner Johnson. All right, any discussion on this? All those in favor of this, please say aye. aye. Any opposed? All right, thank you very much. Unanimous. Whereas the Rutherford County Highway Department is responsible for certain county roads in Rutherford County, Tennessee. Whereas TCA 55-8-153 authorizes the Rutherford County Commission to prescribe speed limits as it may deem appropriate on any road being named by, maintained by Rutherford County and authorizes it to elect appropriate signs. And whereas the Rutherford County Highway Department has recommended and requested a 30 mile per hour speed limit with appropriate signage be posted on Gumpuck Road, a designated county road. And whereas the Public Works and Planning Committee has recommended said speed limit be opposed for the safety and welfare of the citizens of Rutherford County, Tennessee, and the maintenance and preservation of this county road and persons traveling thereon. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners as following. One, the maximum speed limit B and the same shall hereafter be 30 miles per hour for all motor vehicles traveling on Gun Pocket Road. Said speed limit being deemed appropriate and reasonable by the Rutherford County Commission upon recommendation of Rutherford County Highway Department pursuant to TCA 55-8-153, resolved this 14th day of January 2010, I so much. 
second Commissioner Williams. Any discussion on this? All right, all those in favor of this, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? It's unanimous. Whereas pursuant to the private act authorizing Rutherford County Highway Commission and superintendent to work on public drainage easements and provide for the maintenance of public drainage easements requires the county legislative body establish an official list of recognized public drainage easements. The attached exhibit one are the easements recommended by the planning department. And whereas the public works and planning committee has approved the list of public drainage easements as submitted by the planning department. Now therefore be it resolved by the Rutherford County Board of Commissioners that the county commission approves the attached list of public drainage easements, exhibit one, as submitted by the planning department in accordance with Tennessee code annotated 54-903 and 54-904. The public drainage easements shall be the only public drainage easements which shall be worked upon by the Rutherford County Highway Department. Resolve this 14th day of January 2010, I so move. Second, Commissioner P. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? It is unanimous. There is no report from the Steering Legislative and Governmental Committee. Is there any other business? Commissioner Rogers. I'm sorry, Mayor. Just with regard to the Steering Committee, uh, I wanted to remind the commissioners that we are reviewing the Legal Services Agreement itself. Uh, that we are at our, expect that our next meeting uh, for February will be taking a real hard look at that and probably proposing a final draft. So between now and then, if there are any comments to it, uh, we'd, we'd love to get those uh, sooner the better. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner P. Just wanted to remind everyone that the Kitchell Volunteer Fire Department will be having a country ham breakfast this Saturday, that's January 16th, I believe, from 6 to 10. Please come out. Thanks. Thank you. Anyone else have any business? Commissioner Sparks. <clears throat> Real quick, I just wanted to echo what Commissioner McAdoo and Commissioner Bullen said about Mr. Willie Brand, and I want to thank the mayor. I attended the service as well as many others of the other day and thank the, the sheriff. Um, it was a good event, and um, you know, I watched the video be, be played back. Um, the other day and Mr. Brandon and um, if y'all remember he said uh, I don't know why the good Lord kept me here and um, you know to me what Mr. Bullen said was on target you know his generation didn't have a lot of the opportunities that I have that the mayor has that other people have had um, and for that guy to have the attitude that he always had doing the job that he did um, set the best example of anybody that I had seen but um, I just want to share the irony when I was here the night of the day I had thought about Nathan Bedford Forrest the Confederate general who stormed the courthouse to free Confederate soldiers and here we had Mr. Willie Brandon lie in state and just want to thank the mayor and um, thank Commissioner Bull and Commissioner McAdoo for um, the, the kind words and the example that Mr. Um, Brandon set for for all of us. Thank you. Is there any other business? There being no other business, this meeting is adjourned.